morning in our last video we have seen that the largest possible volume we can get if we are using a rectangular base prism is a base area when it's shape of a square 4 by 4 if you remember the last time we used the piece of paper it, it was 16 centimeter by 10 centimeter so if I draw that one 16 centimeter by 10 centimeter area so area was 16 times 10 160 square centimeter this surface area give us the largest volume of 160 cubic centimeter 4 times 4 times 10 that's 160 cubic centimeter now if you are using instead of square base prism if you are using a triangular base prism same concept applies when you have all sides equal I hope you have seen that last in last video I gave you an assignment that if you have different uh, triangles maybe if you choose seven seven two the side seven centimeter seven centimeter and two centimeter then its volume of this prism you are going to get 69.3 cubic centimeter if you use six six and four this sides then the volume you're gonna get is 113 cubic centimeter if you use five five six then the volume you're gonna get 120 but in this case I have all sides equal this is an equilateral triangle so it's 16 divided by 3 it's 16 divided by 3 this side and you know that equilateral triangle have 60 degree the angle so area of this triangle would be half a b sine theta in this case half a and b are same so we can do 16 by 3 square and sine 60 it's going to give you an approximately um, volume well this is area area is going to be 12.3 square centimeter so volume of this this particular prism would be approximately 123 cubic centimeter okay so this is one uh, 123 cubic centimeter and this one we have calculate in last video this is if you have a triangle if you have a square then we have seen that it's 160 cubic centimeter but if you take this prism to be a regular pentagon the side east side would be 16 divided by 5 or 3.2 and if you know how to calculate the polygons area regular polygons area each angle this let's make this triangle over here now this angle over here is 360 divided by 5 because this complete revolution is 360 each of them uh, angle would be 360 divided by 5 or um, I guess 72 degree if it's 72 degree okay this is 72 and this length is going to be 3.2 I need the height so as you can see this is a right angle uh, isosceles triangle so if this is 3.2 if I join this midpoint then this becomes 36 degree and this side or base divides by 2 so it's 1.6 so this height is gonna be if you if you are looking at this triangle we can use the trigonometry to find this one this side h 1036 equal to 1.6 divided by h or if we transpose this and simplify and write it like that it's supposed to be 1.6 10 36 it's going to give you approximately 2.20 centimeter height so area of this triangle okay half base into height then half what is base base is 3.2 and height is 2.20 so volume of this pentagon is going to be um, 176 cubic centimeter so what that tells us see that if we have a triangular base prism we are having volume 123 cubic centimeter if we have a 
square base prism we are having volume 160 cubic centimeter if we have pentagon regular pentagon the volume is 176 so it's increasing that give us an idea that if we take this piece of paper and don't make any regular pentagon regular polygon like that if we fold it just like this just like this roll it and just to show you if we can fold it like that we're gonna get a circle okay so this prism is going to be a circular base prism I made this one for you see that the circular base prism and what is the volume of this one whenever we see we fold this this perimeter becomes the circumference of the circle perimeter is 16 or circumference of the circle is 16 the formula for <clears throat> circumference is 2 pi r equal to 16 so r is going to be 16 by 2 pi it's approximately 2.55 <clears throat> if we have that then remember height is 10 so volume is going to be volume of the prism circular base prism is base area that's pi r square and height now pi is pi and r is 2.55 square and height is 10 that's going to give you about 204 cubic centimeter the largest among all this four prism okay so we can conclude that whenever you have a circular base prism then we are having the largest volume now people of the ancient time and nowadays they use granary what is granary granary is something they store the food or grains or um, uh, farm feed inside so they needed for the same surface area the largest possible volume okay so whenever you have this same surface area you can get the maximum volume is this instead of uh, sphere sphere got the largest but what happened um, th to use the sphere it, there are some limitations the best choice is our cylinder okay now if we use a piece of paper now see this the surface area I used to have 16 centimeter by 10 centimeter so its area is 160 square centimeter now cost wise if you if you are thinking cost wise then for the same cost if you are using a triangular base prism you are getting volume 123 cubic centimeter if you are using a square you are getting 160 cubic centimeter if you are using a pentagon pentagonal prism you are getting 176 cubic centimeter if you use a circle circular prism you are going to get 204 cubic centimeter okay the way it works whenever the shape gets rounder okay with the same surface area the volume gets bigger okay now this is the reason they use the cylindrical uh, container to store their food and grains and farm feed okay uh, we're gonna demonstrate that practice okay here are all the prisms we have of each category uh, when you have triangular base prism this is the largest volume with equilateral triangle when you have rectangular base prism this is the square base prism the largest one uh, five-sided polygon this is the regular pentagon all sides equal and this is infinite side circular base prism now we are trying to find out practically if this one has the largest volume among all of them or not I'm going to put some grains that's rice uh, I put it in the bottle it's uh, easier to pour that in I'm I'm pouring this rice inside this triangular base prism let's see what happened Some more. Okay, 
that's pretty much full. You can see that this triangular base prism is full with rice. Now, I'm gonna power this one in over here in the square base prism. Let's see if we need more or not. So, just let's see. Okay, it's empty and this one is almost full. See that I need some more. So this square base prism has more volume than this one. I'm adding some more grains, more rice in there. Okay, so that's my um, square base prism. It's filled now. I'm gonna use this one, see if this has more volume than this one or not. Well, it's almost filled, but still I can fill some more with rice, you can see that. All right, now this is filled. Last one, the moment of truth. Let's see if it works or not. Okay, now that's empty. And look at this. I have some empty space. So, let's fill this up. Okay. Now, this one is filled. So, we can prove Practically, you can see practically this thing, uh, triangular base prism and this square base prism. Square base prism has more volume than triangular base prism, but pentagon, regular pentagon has more volume than uh, square base prism. And this one, infinite side or circular base prism has more volume than any one of this. So this one is proven that we are right that circular base prism is the having the greatest volume that's why people use this granary this cylindrical shape of granary granary to put their brains and uh, farm feed inside there uh, this small shape uh, square space over here this was little opening they lift it up to get their grains out Still today, a lot of factories, a lot of companies, they use the cylindrical storage for a lot of uses. Okay, they use uh, liquid uh, to fill that in, then a lot of stuffs. Okay, you can check on internet about that. So, that was it. Hopefully, you like it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.